Hello everyone myself Tejas welcome you all in this new fresh video today me and my colleague Atharva are going to present a voice over PPT on the topics substation and its needs and also single line diagram of AC power supply of the course electrical substation practices so let's get started so basically what is substation here we got to answer that a substation is a part of electrical power system which includes generation system transmission system and distribution system substation transforms voltage from high level to low level or vice versa also performs any several other functions like isolating the supply there are various types of substation we are see in our day to day life like pole mounted substation plinth mounted substation or etc here there is a block diagram of substation is shown high voltage lines circuit breakers isolators transformers different types of switches are some important components of substation for distribution and transmission of supply after this we are coming towards the next part that is the need of substation really what is need of substation and where can it be installed the answer comes then that is in the generating station the electricity is generated at the low voltage of 11 kv in the switch yard of generating station the mortgage of 11 kv is step up to 132 kv for transmission in the cities here for stepping up the voltage step up three phase 11 kv to 132 kv transformer is needed the transformer various components protection and switching mechanisms accommodated in the campus called as substation in the generating side substation the voltage is raised to 132 kv for transmission of electrical power from generating station to cities at long distances by three phase high voltage line through acsr means aluminum conductor steel reinforced cables if power is transmitted at higher level then line current is lesser and therefore cross section area of conductor line is lesser this benefits the cost and voltage drop and also line losses are reduced so for changing of voltage from one value to other transformer is needed and for its accommodation electrical substation is needed further in cities substation are needed to step down the voltage in steps to 440 volts three phase and single phase 230 volt as working voltage this is all about the substation after this we are take a look of our last topic that is single line diagram of ac power supply next we are going to see single line diagram of ac power supply system this diagram gives a general idea about supply system the diagram can be explained in four parts the first part is primary transmission power at high voltage that is 132 kv 220 kV or 400 kV is transmitted by means of primary transmission lines. It is three phase three wire system. It should be noted that these lines are overhead tower lines. The next is secondary transmission. At receiving station, the voltage is stepped down from 132 kV to 33 kV or 66 kV by means of step down transformer. From receiving station, electric power is transmitted to substation located at particular points in cities. The overhead three phase three wire system is used for this. The next is primary distribution. The secondary transmission line terminates at receiving station where the voltage is stepped down to 11 kV or 6.6 .6 kV or 3.3 .3 kV by step down transformer. The next is secondary distribution. The distribution substation are located at consumer's premises where the voltage of 11 kV is stepped down to 415 volt that is 3 phase 4 wire for secondary distribution. The advantage of using 3 phase 4 wire system that is R, Y, B and neutral that is N are that both 3 phase and 1 phase supply can be used depending upon the load. Service lines are taken off from this line. This is all about this presentation. Thank you.